Welcome back to this week's video. Well, this year, Torque Lift sent me a Christmas present. How awesome. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Well, you guys might remember a month ago, I was running around, multiple videos, missing a fast gun on the back of my truck. The people at Torque Lift watched my videos and got a hold of me and said, hey, let us send you out a new set of fast guns. Well, now they watched a couple other videos and saw that getting into the back of my camper, it's not always the easiest. They said, we have a much better way for you to do that. So for Christmas, they sent me out a set of these stone go steps. Let's check these out. So shiny and new. Well, let's dig into the owner's manual. Good enough. It's a lot of parts here. And we've got stainless equipment, so that's good. I'm gonna bet that I ain't gonna use half this stuff. Let's just throw it on there. I am glad to be working in the shop today it has been cold here in Minnesota. In fact, it's been cold all over the place. We've got a couple of feet of snow in the last few weeks and the camper roof was packed. I had about a foot of snow up there, so I'm glad that I'm able to get it in the shop, warm up. I did try to go out camping though. I was gonna get you guys a Christmas video like we did last year and just wasn't feeling it for one reason or another. I did get some really cool footage and I tried editing something together, but I just wasn't feeling it. For now, Let's see if we can't get this thing. Looks like the base plate just pops right off. If you're the type of person that likes to read manuals, definitely read a manual. There we go. Now I think that I just gotta mount this thing right to this step. I'm definitely gonna have to drill holes into here. There's already some holes, something was there at one time. I can see already this door right here. It's not gonna be able to open up all the way when I have this backing plate on there, but I actually don't use this storage compartment. In fact, I don't even have the key for that. I'm gonna have to drill it out. I have a key for the toolbox. Looks like it should fit, but it doesn't. Oh well. Master key works every time. She's empty, nothing in there. I'll probably just go right on Amazon, get a new thumb style lock for this. Now it's decision time. Do I mount it centered? And then I'm not gonna be able to open up the door. Or I could off center it and still have access. The plan is just to put it in the center. I'm not using the step as storage, so we're just gonna mark it, drill these holes out. Well, I'm running into something I haven't planned. I've gotta be able to get the nuts and bolts on the back side. I was able to get a nut and a lock nut on the back side of that bolt. I'm thinking with a little impact, we'll tighten these things right up. Where there's a will, there's a way. I'm not taking my bottom steps off just yet. I wanna see kind of what happens if I was to leave them both here. Obviously not that you would ever use both at the same time. I just wanna experiment. What an easy, easy install. Honestly, this could be done less than a half hour. These steps feel really super sturdy. You'll notice that it has these adjustable feet on the bottom. You can be put in four different positions to level yourself out. Folding these up is super easy. This puts it in the travel position. 
the rubber handles, they strap it in place. And this is what it's going to look like when you're carrying it down the road. Now there is absolutely no such thing as the perfect piece of camping equipment. These steps, they've got some flaws as well. Let's think about this. If I was to pull into Walmart and I wanted to go up inside my camper and I'm in a regular parking spot, if I pull these steps all the way out, there's a good chance that I might be in the driving lane of traffic. So you're gonna have to remember that. The other thing is gonna be the people like to stealth camp. If I'm to stay overnight at Home Depot or at Walmart, if I put these steps down for the evening, people are gonna know I'm in there. Does it really matter though if people know that I'm in there? Not really. Here's the deal. I left those bottom steps on for that exact reason. I think that I can still get in my truck with these steps on in this folded up position. Let's check it out. This actually works. We're talking about the best of both worlds. I could definitely make that work. See how it is getting out. Well, I think I might leave it just like this. I can get into the camper now by using the bottom step, not even stepping on these guys. And then when I want to, I can just unfold the steps and have a nice easy slope to get in. Yep, this is perfect. I do have to move my backup camera and uh, just make it simple and easy. I'm just gonna put it right by the license plate. I can always move it again later if I need to. What a super, super simple project. Well, I wanna thank you guys for sticking around through the whole installation process of the torque lift stone go steps. I'll be giving you guys a review of the steps later on down the road. Let me put a few miles on these things and I'll let you know how they're holding up. But for now, I think we got this video in the bag. So we'll see you again next Tuesday and until then, kind, be honest, we'll see you down the road.